When you feel good, you are close to your true essence, your spirit, the full beauty of who you are. It is really wonderful to have this opportunity、um, to be with you in this way. Thank you, Esther. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Karen, Mike, Barbara, Jeannie. All you guys are so kind and wonderful to me, and I just want you to know I appreciate you all. And of course, you don't deserve it at all. Oh, <laughs> I'm so are, worthy of deserving. Are, when people are nice to you, it's it's because that's your point of attraction, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is exactly. Yes. And、um, many many people are nice to me,、yes. so I appreciate that、yes. so much, including you, <laughs> Abraham.、Um, we had our first conversation back in 2006, and many more since then. I told you in 2007, and anyone who would listen. That in 2008 I was going to procreate. That year came and went, and no baby. Well, I you missed your window. <laughs> I <could laughs> talk about a, <laughs> talk about a stale desire. <laughs> Tell us more. Get really I specific. I got a lot more for you. I created a new mantra for the following year, and that was, "I'm going to be fine because my baby's coming in 2009." And 2009 came and went, and no baby. So in 2010, let's do it again. It's 2010. So no, it's yeah. That's right. That's right. But in 2010, my new saying was, "Where the hell is my babies?" Okay. My husband and I decided to go undergo fertility treatments, and three attempts did not bring forth a child. It did, did, however, bring forth a great deal of stress, anxiety, and doubts. Then I decided to do the only thing I was advised to do by my wise and wonderful teachers, Abraham. And I decided to do the only thing that felt right to me, and that was to get happy. I decided without having to have to know when, without caring when or even if my children were coming or not, that I was going to appreciate my life and live happily, just because it feels so good. So this past Halloween, I had a strong desire to have fun and experience Halloween fully. I wanted to dress up as a sexy gypsy woman and go to a Halloween party with my husband Ryan. And yes, at 38, I wanted to relive my childhood and go trick or treating with my friend Darnella's daughter, because I I just love the thought of getting free candy. <laughs> I really do. Anyway, I did all those things and a lot more. And because I decided to simply just get happy, I'm sitting before you. Full of candy.、Oh. I'm sitting before you all, four months pregnant, with my. <laughs> who, who knew it was the candy? All right. right. With my first child, Jackson David Gibson, due in July of this year. I wanted to say to you, Abraham, thank you, thank you for. Your loving guidance throughout my life's journey, especially towards motherhood, you have given me the best gifts I could ever receive, and that's the gift of understanding how the universe works, and the gift of trusting my own inner guidance system. All right, now. If it's much, so much more. more, I thank you. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Thank you. <laughs> I so did not want to cry, but I'm an emotional, hormonal. Crying, oh sure, blame it、walking. on the hormones. Yeah, yeah, I do. I blame it on hormones. But thank you so much. <laughs> well, we want to talk with you about something that's、uh, exhilarating and important, and will be really good for right where you're at, and good for everyone else to hear too, because you sort of dragged them all through this just yeah, now. I did. So, <laughs> In other words, you you could have just cut right to it,、oh, and we could, have, Abraham, we could have just you, all celebrated. We didn't have to go down though. Abraham, you the, know me. <laughs> you know Benita. <laughs> well, the reason that we want to chew on this just a little bit,、okay. and and certainly it is a wonderful thing that is unfolding here, but we are talking about the specifics of the struggle, and. How the specifics of the struggle were active long enough that it sort of slowed things down. 2008, yeah. 2009, yeah. 2010. It, it sort of slows down the manifestation. 
And then even after the manifestation occurs, there is a tendency to keep explaining the struggle. People ask us from time to time, what's the difference? Because when someone says, I'm grateful, we always say, that's nice. And, and then we talk to them about what appreciation is. And the difference between gratitude and appreciation, it's a very big vibrational difference. Yeah. And the difference is that in gratitude, there's a keen awareness of where I've come from, which is still active in your vibration. And it serves as a sort of point of resistance. And where appreciation, there's no resistance in it. It's just pure flowing. At the last gathering, or the last gathering or so someone asked the question about crying tears flowing and we said in every case when tears flow it is a releasing of resistance it's a releasing of resistance and from what you know of us and you know a lot you've been listening to us for a while nothing is more important than releasing resistance and so as you tell this story and release resistance and people are wanting to know well what's the difference between tears of joy and tears of pain tears of sorrow tears and we say there's a difference if tears of appreciation and tears of gratitude in that there are no tears in appreciation there are still tears in gratitude because it's still resistance that you are overcoming with. so now you are here now you've come to this place where it's time for you to to no longer beat the drum of how much time and struggle it was from from where you've come but celebrating where you are on your way to yeah. the more that is coming in other words it really is time yeah. to to let that but there are so many people and you've hit right on it this is something that so many people are wanting to be really good creators but they're still standing in the struggling stack of people and when you're standing in the str struggling stack of people pointing out the adversities that you have overcome makes you shine in that stack right, right. but it keeps you out of the other pile right. altogether you yeah. see and so and and we're not just saying this to you we're talking in there, there are so many people who have really overcome adversities that don't let themselves move out of completely right. out of the vibration of adversity right. because it's still entertaining right, right, right. to explain the adversity and and here's the bottom line it makes the people who are still standing in the struggling pile willing to put up with your success right, right if you tell them how long you have suffered yeah. before you triumph you yeah, see and we say it still slows you way way down you want to stop it right, right. all of you in other words it still slows you way way down right, it slows yeah. you way way down but 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 what it really speaks to is that so many people are appealing almost a hundred percent to the way they are perceived by others mm. so what they think of me really matters a lot to me Abraham so I've got to soften what they think and so since I'm thriving in every possible way and look at them they're not happy they're not <laughs> happy that I'm thriving I'm making them jealous <laughs> and we say you may be inspiring them to understanding what's possible no they don't like me anymore they're not writing me letters we say good <laughs> they're not coming to my parties we say not a problem in other words but but when you want to appeal to them when you want to appease them then you gotta be enough like them that you keep the connection going and when you're keeping that connection going you're breaking this connection right. really strong yeah. yeah so we think it is a wonderful thing that is happening with you and it is uh, you deserve a uh, strong uh, voice of appreciation for your willingness to keep the faith for your willingness to keep your desire alive for your willingness that even though it got a little stale you kept throwing more jeeps in the pile mm -hmm. <laughs> that's funny <laughs> and and now it's time to just revel to just revel in the well-being that you've got and this is the thing that we'd like to say to all of you if any of you are experiencing the app right now experiencing the absence of anything in other words five months ago she was still experiencing the absence of this so if any of you are still experiencing the absence of something that you want 
you have to let go of your awareness that it's absent mm -hmm. that that you just you, you ha and so it's an interesting thing easy for us to say Abraham how do I not notice that something that I really really want is missing and we say by getting back to the essence of why you want it which isn't missing mm -hmm. in other words you still don't have a baby you have a well you have a baby right <laughs> but you're, you're, you're still not uh, going trick-or-treating yet not quite yet in other words there's still more manifestation mm -hmm. that is oh, yeah. that is coming yeah. and yet you're joyful so why not understand that your vortex is pregnant with everything that you want Woo. it is it is like your that. vortex is pregnant right now with everything that you want it wow. it is you want to see the ultrasound <laughs> yeah. it is it's pregnant with everything that you want you see wow. but there is a gestation period yeah. and during that like gestation that. period that's the time that you come into alignment with it that's the time that you feel appreciation for it appreciation in advance is what makes yeah. things come to you yeah. and appreciation in advance is what brings the manifestation but what else does it bring happiness now yes. happiness now yes. happiness now yes. happiness now yes really good wow you are brilliant god i love you so there's just no words very quickly god that was really good wow i love we that. agree yeah yeah very quickly my my brother frank transitioned back in 2003 and we have developed a relationship be, you know uh, beyond this earthy earthly limitations and um there are no earthly limitations there's right, just right. out of the vortex limitations. right but we've developed a relationship um, I want my children to experience who my brother is can oh, you they guide, will. can you guide me to how I can do they're that? gonna or, they're going to be born full of him I have a feeling that I have I have that feeling very strongly yeah because he's so funny and I never yeah. talk about him in the was that doesn't even feel right because he still is we all are you know, eternal well now so. this is an interesting thing that you bring up because you're saying to us that I had a manifested brother right who dematerialized okay <laughs> but he still is and yet I have desires that aren't yet manifested that that I feel lack about and we say if you can reconstitute mm. your dead brother mm you ought to be able to find vibrational alignment with anything, anything. that's not yet come into full Ooh. fruition yes yes <laughs> yeah. everything is it's all yeah. about focus isn't it it is yes Mo most everybody isn't getting that to the depth that you are but right. you did thank you yes, I love you so much thank you all of you thank you The standard of success in life isn't the things, it isn't the money or the stuff, it is absolutely the amount of joy you feel.